What's going on guys? Andrew here with another episode of East Coast Tech. In today's episode, I'll be showing you how to turn your old laptop into a lean, mean gaming machine. For starters, a thin client, as defined by Wikipedia, is a lightweight computer that is purpose-built for remoting into a server, usually for cloud or virtualization purposes. Thin clients are usually low spec, low power machines that rely more on the server they connect to for the tasks and computing they perform. To sum this all up, we will be taking a gaming PC. Anyone will do as the specs don't matter too much, just make sure that you can actually use it to play games. So something like a quad-core processor or any dedicated graphics card will do fine. We will also need a laptop. The specs here don't matter too much. The only requirement is that you'll be needing to run Google Chrome web browser. So if you don't know where I'm going with this, we're going to use Google Chrome to remotely access our gaming PC from our laptop, essentially turning the laptop into a lean, mean gaming machine. You will also have the added benefit of running any other programs present on the gaming PC. First things first, you're going to want Google Chrome installed on both machines. I've already done that on my two, so we'll move on to the next step. We're going to set up our gaming machine as a computer you want to be able to access. So let's launch Chrome, open a new tab, and we're going to select apps in the top left corner, and then select Chrome Remote Desktop from the list of available apps. This will open a new window. On the top, we have the options for remote assistance. This can be used if you need to provide technical support to somebody else. We, however, will start with My Computers. We will then select Enable Remote Connections, and this will prompt you to download Chrome Remote Desktop Host Installer. Once that finishes, we can open the application and install. Afterwards, you will be asked to create a PIN of at least six digits to serve as a password for the computer that you'd like to access. Please note here that both computers must have Chrome running at least in the background for any connections to be possible. And then if your host computer ends up in sleep or hibernation, you will not be able to remote in. Now onto the laptop, we're going to repeat the previous steps. This time, however, our other PC will show up as an option to connect to you will be prompted for the pin you made previously, and then you're good to go. So let's connect now. As you can see, we've successfully set up a remote connection between my laptop and the desktop computer. There's only a little input lag, so that really gets my hopes up for gaming. I'm gonna test a few non-game programs first. So I've loaded up Photoshop, and as you can see, I've got full control and functionality. It's as if I've been in front of my desktop the whole time. So let's try something a little more intensive. Okay, here I am in Premiere and uh, video editing is super smooth. And it's still only about a minute amount of input lag, so that's really good. Now for the real test. Let's load up Overwatch. All right, so I'll select my character and uh, okay. Um, all right, so the keyboard keys work, but the mouse doesn't. Uh, all right, let me let me try it on the actual PC for a second. Uh, oh, okay, that that's fine. Um, maybe it's my mouse. Uh, nope, nope. Trackpad's fine. Nope, trackpad's not doing it either. Okay. Um. Okay, it seems a bit of a hit of a bit of a snag here. Um, I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I'm not exactly sure why, but gaming and Chrome Remote Desktop do not get along. Um, I did try a couple other games, even Minecraft, and uh, they all ended up with the same issue. Um, if if anybody knows what's going on with this, uh, please leave a comment in the description. That that we that we appreciate it. Thanks. I'm um, kind of irked that it didn't work, but uh, did do a little research and uh, I found another way that we can game remotely, uh, kind of like what I wanted to do in the first place. Um, so we got Moonlight, which is a uh, 
free open source NVIDIA game stream client. Uh, sorry, AMD guys, it doesn't look like this fix will work for you. Um, this app works similarly to uh, the way an NVIDIA Shield works, which will allow us to properly stream games for our desktop to our laptop, hopefully. Uh, Moonlight also supports streaming to Android and iOS devices and even Raspberry Pi, for those who are interested. Um, we'll start with the Chrome extension from their website, as it is recommended over the Java client. Uh, we'll download the latest release and navigate to the download folder. We'll have to drag and drop the CRX file into Chrome extensions, and now the app shows up. Cool. Uh, you only have to do this part on the laptop, and um, next we'll go into the NVIDIA GeForce Experience app on the desktop. Select the settings cog at the top and go into NVIDIA Shield settings and enable. Cool. Now let's move on to our client. Open Chrome, go into Moonlight, and our PC should show up. Wonderful. Click on the PC, wait a moment for the connection, and bam! Look at that, our library loads. Cool. Uh, let's try Overwatch again. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, hmm. Okay, I just got a black screen on my desktop and on the laptop. Okay, uh, let's just uh, let's try Minecraft Windows 10. See if we had any more luck, uh, better luck. All right, this works. Uh, it's definitely playable, um, which is good. But um, we kind of want to have a best, you know, as best a gaming experience as possible. So. Uh, let's try a game with my Steam library. Um, let's let's go with something. All right, let's try let's try Skyrim, special edition. Okay, all right, this this is good. Uh, loads. I can select a, I can select continue. Great. All right, this is exactly where I left off before, and I can't move. Hmm. All oh, controls are unresponsive. Oh, wonderful. Um. We're, we're gonna take a short break. Okay, so after some research, I found out that Blizzard is currently undergoing maintenance at the moment, so that explains why Overwatch isn't working. Um, I'm gonna shift focus over to Skyrim for now. Um, I've set up Moonlight to stream my, enti my entire desktop, not just my game library, to see if we can run it properly that way. Okay, um, so it seems like it was defaulting to gamepad controls when you enable the stream. So I went out of the preferences file in the game, in the documents, my games folder, and uh, I changed the B gamepad value from one to zero to disable gamepad completely. Um, let's try again. Right on. We have, uh, we have success guys. Um, there's definitely input lag, but it's not horrible. Um, I think if I click, uh, connect my laptop to an external display, it'll look better, but there you have it, folks. Full gaming experience on my old laptop. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked this video, hit that like button. If you hated it, dislike it, get subscribed. Again, this was Andrew with East Coast Tech, and I'll catch you in the next one.